Now, safety on our roads is one of the biggest headaches for any council, and deciding when and where to deploy grit trucks can be a complicated and costly venture. But Hampshire County Council are piloting a scheme to make this process quicker, easier and cheaper. So I went to find out how the Smart Winter project could benefit road users in our region. At first glance, this is just an ordinary lamppost on an ordinary Hampshire road. But actually, this is part of a pilot scheme by the County Council to make our roads safer. The Smart Winter project is using the latest technology to turn streetlights into multi-purpose weather stations. We have 5,500 miles of roads across Hampshire, so that's a huge network to look after. So any use we can make you know, of technology to do this, to assist us doing that, is obviously good for Hampshire. We need to keep Hampshire moving, and it's absolutely vital for the economy of Hampshire and for the residents of Hampshire. So we've got this new technology we're using to actually monitor, and we've got sensors monitoring the road temperatures to help us in targeting our gritting. We have a lot of salt in stock, we have 25,000 tonnes in stock. We haven't had to use too much this year, which is good, but this actually is another way of making sure we target it, also so we don't waste it. I think really it's about working in partnership, so working with SSE, more and more and more with councils, and we do have our budget cuts to think about as well, so anything will become more efficient, but working with our partners to help deliver safety for residents of Hampshire as well is vital. Obviously public safety is always a priority, and we work with Hampshire County Council to make sure that we're, we're meeting all the uh, necessary safety requirements. We've seen a difference between areas such as Crawley where we've got a sensor and the town centre in Jury Street where the freezing point on the roads has actually varied um, across the course of an evening so we can make sure that the lorries aren't gritting too early, miss rush hour, minimise disruption to the general public. Hopefully we'll increase road safety, we'll be able to um, save the council money which hopefully they'll be able to uh, used for other services and uh, there's environmental benefits by reducing the amount of salt that's being put on the road um, which does impact on water courses um, so there's a lot of efficiencies to be found. So what type of sensors are being used here and what can they tell us? We've got two sensors deployed here. One of them is road surface temperature sensor which is provided by University of Birmingham and that looks at the road, uses infrared technology and another one is the uh, Libellium, which is a Spanish company, which provides a module, which is weather station, which records information about uh, digital temperature, humidity, atmospheric pressure, uh, rainfall, wind speed, wind direction. All of that information goes through the street lighting control system, then back up to a smart city data repository called Centello. And at that point, that information is available for the winter service delivery team. And they can look at the data and then analyze it and decide either to send out the gritters or not to send out the gritters. We're getting some very good data back from the sensors. Um, we're feeding them to our ops team. So they're able to make better decisions about whether the roads need gritting and when they need gritting. Um, in a county like Hampshire, where you've got a mix of urban and rural areas, uh, we're seeing variation across the county as to when the roads hit freezing point so we can make sure that our grit lorries are on the road when they're needed. If the project is successful we could see more street lights making our roads safer as well as giving a better understanding of localised weather patterns. This is Richard Stringer for That's Solent.